here with Crashbox Studios. Do you want to introduce yourself? I'm Mike, I'm the designer and manager of the team. Uh, I'm Cameron, I'm the lead artist and designer. And uh, Dale, program. And William Code. Uh, yes, <laughs> <laughs> I did code. Yeah. Okay, um, just like, you know, how were, who are Crashbox and like, how were they formed? Yeah, um, Cameron came to me with an idea to do a American football game. I mean, a well, I mean, originally it was a British football game yeah. because I know Mikey had worked previously on a football game in third year projects we did. So I really wanted to, I thought he had a lot of experience and had a team who understood how to make that game. So I went to him and asked for help. Uh, it came to be more of a tactics based game. And the football was all about flow, British football. So we didn't actually work the whole RTS style of stock and start. But American football fitted it perfectly. And then we thought, fine, we've got the idea done, we've talked to the lecturers about it, they loved it. We need to get a team together, so we tried by the social networks, Facebook and things like that. That didn't work out too okay, so we went to Ian, we sent out an email, and we got Dale and Liam via that. We also look at the happy faces. We also got lucky, and a programmer, Ralph, in fourth year, was nice enough to give us, we got a prototype for us basically, to allow us to show Dale and Liam very early on with the core concepts. Wow. Okay. Shout out to him for his help with that. Yeah, so like, what are your main aims as a developer? Like, are you going to stay, like, well, obviously with Crash Studio, you're going to stay together. You got, um, like, what are the main aims? Um, like, you know, what, what are your products, what are your products intended for? Uh, we're sort of, we're all core gamers. I think we can all agree to that. So we all want to make games for our own audience. But at the same time, we also understand the marketplace, you know. With Super American Football, for example, Mikey and Dale love American football. They knew the rules. Me and Liam didn't. So we really wanted to think of this idea that the main person is a guy who stays in his 30s. He plays iOS games, but not on a regular basis. And the only reason he knows about American football is to osmosis, so he knows his friends like it. He understands the base rules. And I'd say that's sort of what we always want to do with our games, this idea of it's depth. There is depth to it, so a gamer would understand it, but a normal person would also get it. Normal being someone who plays ISO games yeah. on regular occasions on the bus. And that, yeah, that's what I was saying. It is someone who plays games on the bus, is what we're aiming at. Yeah. Those kind of short, little bursts, little games that are unique and have a little edge to them. That's what we want to make. So you want to bridge the market from casual and core? Yeah, uh, sort of. Yeah. No, that's good. Um, so obviously you guys entered the Battle Challenge, um, sponsored by Samsung. Uh, can you explain like, you know, how the competition's, like how it plays about, how you enter? Yeah, yeah. It's changed from the Battle Challenge slightly. It's now the Android one. They've okay. moved away from Samsung's own style of the Battle one because it wasn't as large and they've for the Android system now. The main way it works is you get the code of thought. We have the lovely people from Samsung come and lock you in the uni for 24 hours and you spend 24 hours hammering out as much as you can of the game. Yeah. Um, you try and get most of the design and concept work done before it, then it's nice time, 24 hours in the uni, and then four weeks from then there's a checkpoint. You send in your game, they give you feedback, who have missed done a little bit different than that. Um, our main one they send us was not a tutorial, and our thing was, yeah, a tutorial won't get done, but this is just a certain place. So they're quite good when it comes to that. And then it's meant to be eight weeks, but they should have given us a bit longer. And that's when you actual hand in the finished version of the game. And that's one that changed them last year. They didn't actually get that many games because everyone was going, right, before the final, we don't need to hand it in before it. If we lost, we're not going to finish the game. So this year I've changed it to, yeah, you give us the game and then you get to the wars, which is in London after it. And there's three prizes, I think, £5,000, Two and a half. Two and a half and one. Two and a half and one thousand pounds. So quite nice size. So both. Yeah. And the uni gets one thousand five hundred as well. I think if a certain many ones. Right. Okay. Cool. Um. So in terms of like Super American football, uh, like obviously with the title it's got American football in it. But um, what's your like you know main inspiration? Like you said, it was like you wanted to make a tactics based sports game. Mm -hmm. but it, it really came from, I go on a website called Giant Bomb, and they were doing a lot of footage on XCOM. And I hadn't played it, but I was watching all their live footage. And also Fire Emblem was announced coming out of here, so I had a lot of tactic games on my mind. And I really thought, like, I like tactics games, but they never really make big market presence. They're very niche games. Mm -hmm. And I really wanted something on my portfolio and the team I was with is something that is broad. So if you went to a company, they'd go, oh, this actually sold a bit, so I'd get a better job. And I just thought, well, what is something that everyone likes? And I was also looking at the people around me. You know, I've worked with a few other people in projects on our course before, and I'd never worked with Mikey before. They're like, no, we did, we worked in first year. And I thought, he knows sport. So I went to Mikey like, straight up to get him to make a sports game. 
Um, a lot of our game came though through groups. Like originally it was stop start, you picked your spot like on a grid and your guy would run to it. And then we got everyone on, we all stopped there and talked about it. And the game sort of evolved off based off everyone's input. Just what was, works really well because we're a small team. We all get a good say and we all make design choices. One of the great things about American football and American sports in general is you see the coaches chalkboard. Mm. And the main thing for the Samsung challenge this year was using the S Pen. Yeah. So you can almost think, coaches chalkboard, right, we're going to make a tactics game, that's tactics based. So we did not look. Yeah, no, it's good. And also, uh, the actual name, Super American Football, comes from the graphics side. Mm. Yeah. Because I'm not an amazing artist. You know, I'm, I'm good. They will, they will tell me I'm good. But I'm very modest when it comes to my abilities. Humility is quite good. Yeah. Uh, we also wanted to be completely different from the competition. Madden goes for the realistic, great looking games on iOS. And we can't achieve that based just on our size and the time restraints. So we went, well, we'll go what we know, and we'll go with sprites, because that looks it. So we went for this really retro 16-bit look, mm -hmm. and then we thought, well, why don't we just call it Super American Football based off a Super Nintendo game. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the original name we went for was Mikey Loves Super American Football, based on our beautiful, oh, handsome you. producer. <laughs> and we were gonna, you were going to be the face to take on Madden. In, yeah, if, yeah. if it worked in five years, it would be Mikey's <laughs> football. People would refer to it as in the Androids, but yeah, but that's too much attention on me. I'm a group player. <laughs> <laughs> you just oh well, we had a title screen with his face <laughs> bursting <laughs> through, I wasn't, I wasn't and he didn't want his face on all those Samsung devices. That was okay. One of the things we did do was lots of research into the marketplace. If you look at the Android platform just now, if you type in football, the main things you get is um, soccer, as it's called yeah. in America games. But the American football market was a lot smaller. You can see things like backbreaker made by natural motion, obviously EA's Madden. But apart from those main ones, there's not really that much else out there. So we tried to separate ourselves with the art style, with the gameplay being completely different. Because if you get on a small iPhone Madden, it's very cluttered on a small screen with so many buttons to push. Yeah. Our game will produce the players and it's just the chalk lines from a coach's chalkboard. It's very simple, anyone can play it. So we've tried to expand the market there, as can as for osmosis, anyone can play the game. Yeah. Okay, well, like, obviously it's part of the fat jam. Yeah. Um, like, what's the deadline? When does it need to be done? When is it going to be released? Um, two weeks time. Oh. Yeah, wow. um, because it's a very short development time to give you. Yeah. Um, it's meant to be eight weeks, they extended it to 12 weeks this year. Yeah. So it's been quite good. Yeah. Right, and then is it going to be released uh, on Android? And then... With the Samsung channel, Samsung's got their own store. And for six months, it's exclusive to them. And then after that, we can put any other store from the like, or we can modify it to different platforms. So, are you planning to put it on like iOS and um, iOS? Yeah, and maybe tweak it to different platforms as well. Mm -hmm. See how it goes. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, have you been involved in other works at the moment? Uh, or has the focus been heavily on sort of American football? We do have plans to continue as a team. That is one of our main goals, yeah. is to continue. We've got several ideas in the works, things like they're trying to get funding to continue as a team. The main issue just now is the finance behind team together as a team. And we'll have money is there, we'll do it, it's the bottom line. So if we're to fund Samsung, that's already five grand in the back pocket to continue as a team. Any kind of, like, got any ideas or kind of yes. about or don't want to share it? We're very much focusing on the platforms we know. Yeah. You know, you guys, I've understood, you guys got Unity, you're pretty confident in Unity. Yeah, I <laughs> love Unity. You can see it in the face. It's it's again just sticking to the team size. You know, we can't make like a massive game. You yeah. know, I'd say even a Steam game, an indie Steam game, is maybe even too big for us in our current state. So we're really we're sticking to mobile is what we currently are doing. We understand that to an extent. It's marketplace. We understand that people can use it, and it's also the one where we probably get the most sales with the largest install base. So at least the. There are a few titles we are working on and thinking about, sort of working on it. They're vastly different from each other based on what we want to address. The dare idea is different from the prototype idea because we're tuning them all in. The main focus is definitely portable games, using touch screens and things like that. That's what we're trying to go for. If other marketplaces open up, like we've seen PS4 yesterday, uh, trying to show more of an increase in the end of it. Yeah. If a marketplace opens up and we think it's got the install base like the mobile does, we'd consider it. If, if something's open to you, why not go for it? So if you've got a bigger team, would you like you know what I can do a Steam game or something like that? It's a, a really tight knit team, team as much as me and Cameron knew each other from class. We didn't know we were on the deal. Everything's just came together very nicely. You keep seeing the whole thing of Norman, Storm and Forming when groups form. 
we just went straight from together, bold to work. Well, like there was none of the madness in between. Well, like the band from X Factor that Simon Cowell put together. He just grabs all yeah. the random ones and goes, yeah, you're a band. So Ian, 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 Ian Donald is Ian Simon Cowell. Ian Donald is our Simon Cowell. <laughs> <laughs> he made us who we were. We owe him so much. Yeah. Ian, I hope you're watching this for that one. <laughs> I don't know whether I will be. Oh, we can send it to this one. <laughs> Um, but we are, uh, we need a sound guy. That is one thing we have learned. Uh, is we definitely need someone who understands sound. Me and Mikey have done the sound for Super American Football. And while I would say we're pretty good at it, we did, we did a good job. We'd really like to have sound on it. Yeah, have sound on an equal level with everything else because it is an intricate part of the games that we want to make in the future. And just giving it to two guys, while it works in Super American Football, we got very lucky with what we found. We want it to be on par with everything else. We want it to be on par with the code, with the design, and the art. So we're going to add another sound guy to our roster, and I'd argue another art guy. If we were just expanding to make a bigger project, we need another artist. Mm -hmm. yeah, one of the things you see with indie games is you can buy the soundtrack separate. So the soundtracks in indie games and smaller games are yeah, kind of yeah. bigger. So that is something to always look at, and there's an important factor these days. I mean, with Journey winning on Grammy yeah. and stuff, it's getting to the point where like, games, you have the soundtracks just as important as like, films mm -hmm. and stuff. So it's getting to be a big part of it. Yeah, not by what? No, um, anything else? Well, thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah thank you. Well, uh, no, it's our pleasure. Come on, anything. Yeah. But, uh, yeah.